what's up make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below it's part of the channel thank you I have an article here from the Atlantic that says let's declare a pandemic amnesty. We need to forgive one another for what we did and said when we were in the dark about the flu by Emily Oster. The answer to that is no. I won't be forgiving any of you people. I won't be forgetting any of you people. And indeed what I'm hearing now is there are people here in Ireland in specific terms compiling lists of people that decided to impose regulations and decided to uphold those regulations upon people these nonsensical regulations that they decided to introduce and decided to crush people's lives livelihoods people's relationships and people as well too that missed the birth of their children people that missed the final breaths of their loved ones you were going to get no sympathy or forgiveness from the likes of me this whole idea of thinking that I'm going to be forgiven towards you for what you've done is absolutely out there. You are on planet Mars if you think I'm going to forgive you for that. And this is the thing. This has utterly changed people like me over the last couple of years. And we want to see justice. And justice will happen. It will happen and it will happen accordingly. Whether it is in this life or the next, God will judge you accordingly. And you are in serious bother here. These are the type of things, by the way, that Emily Oster was saying on her public profile. Professor Emily Oster says, yes, I'd add mandates to this list as well. That's August 7th, 2021. December 22nd, 2021. Just about a year ago now, guys. Shaming people who haven't gotten Voldemort is not likely to work at this point or ever. What will? Individual family pressure, maybe. Now, these are things that were put upon people and have absolutely fractured families forevermore. And people like this champion that. Voldemort requirements. These are the same Voldemorts now that they're coming out and telling you that, well, we already knew before we put them out that they weren't going to stop it being passed around amongst people. So now people have taken something that's experimental that you used to be paid for, by the way, if you're going to be involved in an experimental trial and test and all that it used to be paid for that it used to be compensated for that but what they did over the last few years was they said to you here we give you a down on a couple of beers and stuff like that and people said oh yeah happy days or even nothing at all they just said just take it and people went oh okay you know what i'm saying so when they're talking about this these are the type of people that these people are and gonzo productions like this looked at the situation and said hang on this thing here has a 99.9 percent .9 survival rate some top doctors that are actually not shells and not bought and paid for are coming out and being like don't touch this stuff other individuals that have taken it and have now had very big problems are also saying don't do it yeah, i think i'm all right and when it ultimately came to me orange juice lem sips vitamin c and a bit of walking around out in the sun done me the world of good and i'm still here now i have to be honest with you I think it's incredible because the likes of Joe over there in America said that he wasn't going to get through the winter. But here I am yet again. It's incredible, isn't it? So anyway, Voldemort requirements for things you want to do. Domestic, air, train, travel, work, sports, events. Yes, we can have these without shame. This is this person that's looking for amnesty. My unpopular opinion of the day is that I think we may be reaching the limits of fear-based Voldemort motiva motivation. And there are downsides to continuing to sow fear among those who are already afraid. What might work? Full FDA approval, employer mandates. So I wanted your livelihood taken away from you. I wanted you to be kicked outside and to be waiting outside the door for you to go hungry with your family to go hungry. You are going to get no amnesty from me. And I want to see ultimately punishment for each and every one of you people. You deserve to be punished, whether it be in this life, and I know for a fact in the next life you will be judged accordingly. But I would love, love to see it happen now. Because what you have decided to do is you've decided to awake the dragon within me and in other people. And we have long got past the point of talking because that's what you decided to do. We want to see very serious consequences and repercussions and accountability for you people that decided to champion that sort of stuff. And I'm looking forward to it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. And check out the links posted in the description down below. It's part of the channel. And talk to you.